Welcome back to another episode of the SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today's level is World 3, Level 3. This level isn't too hard, but you'll need to remember a lot of gems. Let's take a look. Like always, hold forward and B, and you'll want to run till you reach this line in the bush. That line will be the perfect spot to tell you when to small jump. This small jump should set you up to build P-Speed right away when you land over the gap. If you jump later, you might hit the 8th frame rule and spend longer building your P-Speed. Notice how I make it over the gap, my next P-Meter arrow starts right away. Once you build P-Speed, do a small jump over the first cheap cheap when you reach the blue pillar after the first little gap. When you land the small jump, do another medium jump up and over the music note block. If you hit the music note block, it's really going to mess up your P-Speed. Jump over the turtle in any way that feels comfortable for you. I just do a medium jump. The important thing is you set yourself up on the last brown block located here. Do a medium jump from that brown block to the second blue island, and from the center bush do another medium jump to land on the second side of the spinner. Don't worry, the spinner will always be free unless you mess up once you spawn it. Keep in mind, if you jump in the center of the spinner, two things will happen. One, you'll go right through the spinner, and two, you'll come to a dead stop. This is why we jump on the right side of the spinner. From the spinner, do a full big jump to the red koopa, and medium jump off the koopa to the second set of two brown blocks. Medium jump from those bricks over to the next two to land on the third. Medium jump again over the next two brown blocks and the blue pillar to land on the second blue pillar. Medium jump again over the next blue pillar that's underwater and land on the higher one. Once you land on this higher blue pillar, do a turn back jump over the next two brown blocks and from there do a medium jump over the spinner and into the pipe. Make sure you don't touch the pipe while entering it so you can keep P-Speed on the other side. If done correctly, hold forward for a couple frames and then full big jump off the pipe and over the water and run until you hit the card. Let's see what it looks like all together. Thanks for watching episode 17. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, don't be afraid to tap the subscribe button to know when episode 18 comes out. Also, make sure you hit the bell to be notified when it comes out. We will be doing World 3 Fortress. Also, if you would like to see some live action world record attempts, I stream every day on Twitch in the evenings. All links are in the description below. Thanks guys. See ya.